Right, come out to Bunton Mine again to try a new carbide lamp because I'm meant to be carbide lamps now. So this one's an American one uh, which I got off eBay and it's got the uh, flow control for the water on the top which is much better than the other lamp that I had. So I've got it all ready, um, I made a new seal and everything for it so I've got the carbide inside it as you can see. I put an o-ring seal on the top as well because I'm sure we're losing acetylene out the top and also we've cut up a bit of uh, filter off a of hoover just to shove in there because you get sort of gunk from the carbide and it blocks up the nozzle so we'll give it a whirl and see what happens so got the carbide in just maybe about I don't know a good tablespoon full screw it together and then in theory all I've got to do is add the water and uh, we should start making our acetylene so I'll turn the valve completely off that's me water Floor control valve on the top. This is plain water. Oh, we're in. Hopefully, this is the first time I've had this one lit, so hopefully it won't all just flow down at the bottom and be ruined. And then, if we give it a minute, we we'll get a match, and uh, I should start making carb. It might start making uh, acetylene in a minute. Right, so if I stick a bit more water in there just to get it primed, give it a shake, and hopefully, yeah, so the water's actually boiling now in the top. Don't know if you can hear, you can hear the water boiling. So there, look. You can really smell the acetylene as well, it's really, uh, in fact, I can see it pouring out the front there and the bottom's actually getting really hot it's I can touch it but it's getting very hot very quick so I'm just going to keep the floor low for now and we'll go off into the mine and uh, see what sort of light it gives so you can see in the wind it's actually all right it doesn't it doesn't flicker at all it's a nice steady flame as well it's it's actually quite good so we'll get into the mine and see See what sort of light it gives in there. Get a quick video of this piece here because this is part of the roof in the uh, horse level and it does seem to be bulging down more than what it was when we were only here a few weeks ago. So I'm just going to record this for the video. As you can see there's the floor. Obviously there's the ceiling. And you can see the bulge coming down, it's bulging down in two places. Which I remember bulging before, but I wonder whether it's actually bulging a fair chunk more than where it was. Hmm. Right, so hopefully the camera's picking this up. And you can see how much light this is now giving off. So it's been only now for about 10 minutes maybe. So it's seriously warmed up, I can't touch the bottom of it, it's absolutely burning on the bottom. And although I can't see like the miles down the tunnel, I can certainly see very well for working and stuff. Uh, it's actually really, really good light, so I'm pleased with it. Yeah, can you? Right, so now we're in the mine. I've come quite far in so that uh, I'm well away from the entrance, from the daylight and everything. And with this, this is now purely lit by the uh, carbide lamp, as you can see here. So I've got the flame wound up to maybe an inch out the front. If I give it a bit of a shake, just get a bit more water down there. So we've got a decent flame on it. And the light's actually very good, look. So this reflector's doing a marvellous job. I can really see very easily uh, where I'm going. It's probably better in real life than what you can see on the camera, because the camera, although it's wound up tight, so 25,600 at the minute, which is as high as this one will go. Uh, with a big wide aperture on as well. It's still not as good as what your eyes are. But it's actually very good. The only problem is, if I turn me big lamp on, is it's actually red hot. If I touch the bottom of it, as you can see, I'm having to hold it by the back because 
the bottom's absolutely burning. It's boiling up. Whereas the other one that I had, I think it must have been a much thicker gauge of brass because it didn't get nearly quite so hot as what this one is. Just quickly go through here because it's a bit wet and that bit. I think I'll walk down. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? I think I'll walk down as far as the, the junction at the end. We'll see if we can get some long exposure shots and just see what the uh, what the picture comes out like. So it will turn the music off again. If I can reach it. Yep, there we go. I've half mind to put this on my hat just to see what it's like. Although I think it might just burn me forward. So you can see, easily see the rails and everything, look. Magnificent light. I mean, look at that there. That view. Straight up the rails. Right, so we've now come to this small chamber, which I'm trying to light up. I don't know where it gets a bit tighter. Well, I've really got a down on my hands and knees here, trying to see how much light this thing gives. So I'll wind it right up, get plenty of water in there, give it a bit of a shake. And you can see, well, I hope you can see on the, the camera, just how good this thing is. So it's probably better than the other one. I think it's because the nozzle's maybe a bit bigger, so we're getting a bit more gas out of it. And it I can certainly smell the gas a lot more on this one than I could the other one. Uh, so yeah, it's so far it's doing all right. Yeah, and you can see there. Look, obviously with carbide you get a lot of soot coming from the flame, which just happens to be on the wall there. Look, so that's not something that I've just done. That's just something I've just spied. So it looks like they've had could be a candle or a carbide lamp possibly just on the top of this shaft here. I think we might be running to the end. So it looks like we're possibly running to the end of the carbide now because I have had the valve open quite far and I didn't put that much in it. And you can see now the flame is just starting to die away. So we've got about what's that, half inch to three quarters of an inch of flame. And it's uh, it's definitely not now not as bright as where it was now. So. It looks like if we're going to do any pictures, we ought to do them sort of fairly quick. So I think I'll put my lamp down. Will it live in there? Let's have a look. Made for it there. Perfect. We'll get uh, some long exposures and just see what, what it comes out like. It looks like this one's got a bit of a problem because it's filled the uh, chamber in the bottom with water, which means it's not making any more gas. It's just completely flooded itself out. So it looks like this one has got a bit of a problem with the valve mechanism inside. So it's just putting too much water out. So we'll, uh, we'll have to take it back and give it a bit of a fettle, I think. I think what it is is as you screw that down, you're winding the pin down inside and as you screw it this way you wind it back up. And I think it's probably not coming up far enough and making the seal if you like because I suppose it does stop there but I think it's just opening too much so we're going to have to give it a fettle but I've got another, oh god I've got loads of them now, now one loads of either so try it with another one. I only picked this one because it's got the big reflector so I have to try another. So hopefully you've enjoyed that short one, see you next time.